Well, hey there, kids. This is Pastor Eric. Uh, just letting you know once again that we love you and appreciate you here at Cornerstone Baptist Church. Uh, we have another video for you today, and today's video is all about being a servant. You know, Jesus said in his word that the greatest in his kingdom is the one who's willing to be the servant of all. And so I want to encourage you as your pastor to be a servant, be a servant with your parents, be a servant to your siblings, and be a servant to your Lord. Um, because again, the greatest in his kingdom is the one who's willing to serve. So I hope you enjoy this video all about being a servant, and we'll see you at the end. Okay, well, we're going to play another game today, and this week our theme is being a servant. Okay, the game this week is charades, so we're going to perform uh, a, a various actions, and the other one has to guess what the other one's doing. So, self-explanatory, kind of. So, I'm going to start, right, Brother Jamie? Yeah, and remember before we start playing, the pick a team. Try to be the Red Rhinos. No. Pick Brother Blake's team, the Blue Sharks. Now, so, only if you want to lose. Okay, here it goes. So for the first one, I get the first one, right? The first one. Okay, here's it, here it is. You got a broom out of the closet. You're you're karate chopping wood sideways. Is there a timer going on? Do we have a timer? Um It's like you're are you twisting a doorknob? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're letting me go through. So you're opening the door for me. Yeah, opening the door for someone. That was the first awesome. one. So I get a point. Brother Jacob, you're up. Okay. Remember, kids, I'm gonna need your help on this. Oh man, this is this is gonna be hard. Can the camera see that? Oh, you're eating food. You're eating food. Yes. Is it a plate? Yes. Plate. You're taking my plate and throwing it away. Yes. Oh, that, that was what it was? Yeah. It was taking someone's plate to the trash for them. Yeah. Oh, good job. That's uh, that's a nice thing to do for someone. Yeah, it is. So, okay, ready for the next one? I'm ready for the next okay. one. Okay. So, you're just copying my actions. Uh -huh. You're taking a plate and you're painting it, you're polishing it. Do you do that with plates? Does anyone do that with plates anymore? You're making sound effects. It's <laughs> cheating. So you're like cleaning it. Yes. It. Yeah. You're washing plates. There you go. Washing the dishes. Oh man, kids, I might not be oh, the smartest one, my... but I'm gonna win. Okay, I got two points. Okay, this is easy. You're sleeping. You're sleeping. I don't think the camera can see, you that. see that. You're making your bed? Wow, you got that really Was tight. that what it was? I wasn't even acting that well. I didn't know what this was. So I was like, I you just make it good. Wow. Kids, look how great of an actor I am. Maybe I'm just a good guesser. I don't think Should so. Should I get a point for that guess? No, kids. No? It's okay. two to two right now. Two to two. Here it goes. Ooh, this one's tough. Okay. Um, no sound effects. Are you, like, painting something? I'm really having a hard time. Um, you're like refilling a water cup. Um, you pour someone a glass of water. What? <laughs> I, know. Um, um, I, you know, I think I got this. You are watering flowers. I am watering the plants. Yes, that is correct. The only reason I know that uh, is I do that for my mom. Hopefully, some of you guys are getting these at home because these are tough. Yeah. Oh, this okay. one's easy. You're squatting. You squatting. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, 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 oh. You're getting a chair. You're sitting down. You're pushing the chair in. Pushing the chair in. Uh huh. You're pushing the chair in for someone? Yes, yes, you got uh, it. Okay. There we go. So you got three, Brother Jacob. I got three. Yeah, we're tied right now, but yeah. not for long. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, you're you're, pull, you're pulling up your pants. No, that would be this. Oh, okay. You like circles. Mm -hmm. You throw. You like to bounce basketballs around. You... 
have a trash bag? You're taking oh. out the trash. I'm taking out the trash. Oh, Thank man. you. Uh, kids, I hope you're getting these a lot easier than I am. Yeah, well, I'm not very good. Okay, so four to three. And then Jacob, you're up. Okay, this one's easy. Your shirt. Uh, you're crinkling your shirt. Um... Um, anybody this? know what this is? I have a hard time with this one. You're folding your shirt? Kind of-ish. Folding your clothes? Yes! Oh, okay. Folding laundry. Okay, so I need to be smarter than that. Well... Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here's the next one. You are dancing. Is that a dance move, kids? Probably something in Fortnite. You're gripping on the something. Mm-hmm. You are tilling the ground. You're a farmer. Is that kind of some kind of sort of thing? Shaking. You're mopping the floor? Ah, 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 ah. You are... There's something they form up in the floor. Oh, come on. You're, you're sweeping. You're sweeping. Sweeping the floor. Yes, there oh, you go. Man. I have five for the Jacob. You have four, right? You're up. Let's see if you can get this one. This is this one the right last there. one? It's the last one. Okay, here it goes. So if we both if I if you get this one, we're gonna have to come we're up gonna with have a tie. tie. Okay, here it is. Let's try it. I can't even see. You are stabbing someone. That's pretty intense. You are mopping. Whoa, 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 he said no sound effects. I'm gonna say because of the sound effects, you're vacuuming the floor. Yes. Okay. Well, that is it. I think we're tied, right, Brother Jacob? Yeah. And we're out of once. So this week we tied. I think that makes us even. I guess so. So, well, I, we will see you guys. We're done. This we're is done. our last we'll video. We'll see you live. We will see you live yeah, at some so. point. Okay, well, if you don't have your Bibles, pause the video real quick, go grab your Bible, and come right back, and we're going to get started. So if you have your Bibles, turn your Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 3. 1 Samuel chapter 3. And if you don't know where that's at, ask your parents to help you. But 1 Samuel chapter 3. We are going to talk today about having a servant's attitude about how to be a servant. Well, in 1 Samuel chapter 3, we see a story about who do you think it is about? It's about Samuel. So we see a story about Samuel when he was young and when he was serve, a servant to Eli. So we're going to read the story real quick and then we're going to talk about the story. So if you have your Bibles open to 1 Samuel chapter 3, let's start reading in verse 1. It says, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And it came to pass at the time when Eli was laid down in this place, and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp, the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. And the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou hast called me. And he said, I called not. Lie down again. And he went and laid down. And the Lord called yet again, Samuel. And Samuel rose, arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered again, I call not, my son. Lie down again. So, okay, we can see in the story so far, what's happening is it's nighttime. Samuel was sleeping and he heard this voice and it said, and it said, Samuel. And Samuel got up and said, here, I, here am I, here I am. And he ran, he ran to Eli, which was the prophet he was serving. And he ran to Eli and he said, Eli, you called me. What's going on? And Eli said, no, 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 I didn't call you. Are you going crazy? Go back and go to sleep. So Samuel went back and he went to sleep and, and he heard the voice again and it said, Samuel. And Samuel got up again. He said, here, here, here I am. And he ran to Eli again. He said, okay, Eli, I know you called me this time. Now, what's going on? 
And then it keeps going. And now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither the word of the Lord, yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. So God called Samuel again a third time when Samuel was sleeping. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. So at this time, he went to Eli again. And he said, hey, Eli, you called me. What do you need? And Eli was like, okay, this kid's going crazy. I didn't call him. But Eli realized it wasn't him calling him. It was God. So Eli said, therefore, Eli said unto Samuel, go lie down. And it shall be if he call thee that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called at, as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. So, so we see in this story, Samuel was sleeping, and he heard this voice, and it said, Samuel, Samuel. And he got up and he said, here, here I am. And he went to Eli and said, hey, what are you calling me for? What do you need? And he did that three times. And finally, Eli realized it was God who was talking to him. And he said, hey, when God calls you, you're going to say this. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So today we're talking about being a servant. So here's some, here's some lessons we can learn from the life of Samuel. First off, you know, it was in the middle of the night. He was sleeping. He was probably comfortable. Who likes to wake up right away when they get up? I don't. So, you know what? He's probably comfortable. He probably didn't want to do anything. He probably just wanted to sleep. But you know what? His attitude was, hey, when, when he thought Eli was calling him, he got up right away and he went right away and he said, Eli, what can I do for you? How can I help? And that is having a servant's attitude. You know what? We shouldn't have a servant's attitude just when we want to, just when it's easy. We should do it any time. We can do it any time. If it's in the middle of the night, our parents ask us to do something. You know what? We should do it because we have a servant's attitude. So we should always have a servant's attitude. You know what else I learned from this? Was that, he, that Samuel, he obeyed right away. He didn't wake up and be like, oh man, I don't want to get up in five more minutes and then I'll go see what Eli needs. And you know what? It's okay. No, he got up right away and he went straight to Eli and he said, how can I help you, Eli? What can I do to help serve you? He did it right away. And you know what? As being a servant, as you should be, as I should be, as we all should be, we should not only do it all the time. We shouldn't only be a servant all the time, but we should serve right away. As soon as our parents ask us to do something, we shouldn't be like, oh, I'll do it later. We should do it right away. We should, we should be willing to serve anytime, but we should do it right away. You know what? Also, I learned from this lesson that, that Samuel had a good attitude. You know, we need to have a good attitude. You know, a lot of times when our parents ask us to do something, we're like, oh, but mom, but dad, I don't want to. But I don't want to do that. That's so hard. That's going to take so much time. You know what? We, if we're going to be servants, we need to have a good attitude. So not only should we obey all the time, or I'm sorry, be a servant all the time, we should also serve right away and we should, we should serve with a good attitude. So that is our lesson for today. I want you to make sure you're being a servant at home and around the house. You, you see something that needs to be done, you do it. You be a servant, you do it. If your parents ask you to do it, make sure you have a servant's heart and you say, yep, I'm gonna do it anytime they ask me to do it. I'm gonna do it right away and I'm gonna do it with a smile on my face. I'm gonna do it with a good attitude. Well, let's pray and we'll be done. Lord, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd help us to learn how to be servants and to obey you and to follow you. And I pray all this in your name. Amen. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and that the Lord worked in your heart and encouraged you uh, to be a better servant.
be a better servant there at home, to be a better servant to uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, to serve Him not just right now, but throughout your life. It is a privilege, it is a joy to serve the Lord. And uh, I want to encourage you to be a servant. And uh, I just want to say thank you to um, you for watching these videos, but I also want to give a big thanks to uh, all those who had a part in making these videos possible, especially Brother Blake for um, doing all the games and the messages and all the things that he's been doing to get these videos out. And also Brother Jake for all the help he's done and all the different teachers. And I do hope to have our children's classes next Sunday. So uh, be praying that that happens and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. But until then, be a servant.